Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. I'm still in Taichung. I have to say I love Taiwan. And after the bustling, culture shocking city of Taipei, which was grand, I have to be honest, I totally fell in love with this city, what I am now, Taichung. Taiwan's second largest city, but what a beautiful open atmosphere, beautiful people, very, very open and friendly. I am officially a fan of Taiwan. But anyway, uh, I'm here to tell you a little story, and it's the story of the Spaniard. Now, no worries, this is not a fairy tale, this is a whiskey. And it's this one, the Spaniard, or story of the Spaniard in full. Uh, it's one of the newest releases by uh, Enfant Terrible, John Glazer, of his uh, Compass Box company. I'm sure you are aware of Compass Box. They created this little bit of a hype when they, uh, when they bottled the last fatted malt, the last fatted grain, uh, and they also came to us with all these whiskies in which they are very open and they disclose what's inside their blends and blended malts. It's not just whiskey in my opinion, it's a work of art. Anyway, this is one of the newest releases, the, uh, the Story of the Spaniard, and it's actually named after a bar in New York which is the Spaniard, and uh, only 340 bottles went to that bar in uh, the Big Apple, but this is the general release for you and me, the regular mortals, to enjoy. Uh, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a long story. This uh, this vatted malt is actually comprised of. Bear with me. It's 40% Aberlour on a sherry butt, and then it's 25% a Tininic on a wine cask, and then some Deanston on refill butt for about 8%, and a refill hogshead for about 7%, and finally there's also 5% Glenelgin from recharred barrels. That leaves 15%, right? Those of you who were calculating with me, 15 more percent. The other 15% is the so-called Highland blended malt from heavily toasted French oak. And if you want to be really anoraki about it, those final 15% consists of 50%, no, sorry, 60% Kleinleach, 20% Dale Ewan, and 20% Tinnitic. You still with me? All right. Well, here we go. The, uh, the story of the Spaniards, a blended malt. It is bottled at 43%. ABV. It's got a beautiful dark golden color. Well, it's very dark golden. It's almost bronze. And to be honest, it does not really cling to the glass. It comes down rather quickly. But even here in the open, I can already smell it, even though I just poured it. So let's give this one a go on the nose. Well, that nose is very soft. I get some sugared oranges, some baked apples sprinkled with some cinnamon. There's some sweet strawberries in there as well, some red fruit. It's got a bit of a sour note in the back, but not, not sour that it becomes disturbing, you know. Oh, it's all it's all, all said and done. This is this is not very complex, but it is quite pleasant. So this is a very, very approachable whiskey on the nose. Right on the palate then. Mm. Quite oily on the palate. It's pleasantly sweet and sour. That, that must be a note from the wine cask, I presume. And it's got a soft bitter touch, but there's a good balance. There's red fruit in there, some citrus, grapefruit mostly, some cinnamon and cloves, caramel and honey. It's quite sweet. And the fruit evolves towards the candied variety. Actually, not bad at all. I'll we'll finish then. The finish is medium long, pleasantly drying, and, and, and the baked apples and the cloves, they do an encore. Well, it's a, it's a all said and done, this is a nice blended malt from Compass Box without being great. But then again, it is very friendly priced with a price tag of only 45 euros. So there you have it. Story of the Spaniard by Compass Box at 43%. Coming to you from Tai Chung, which is literally on the other side of the world for me. I was very pleasant, uh, I had a very pleasant trip down here uh, thanks to my employer Katawiki uh, because this was a whiskey trip. And well, we visited Kavalan, we visited Taipei, we visited Taichung, met with customers, with, met with collectors and such. So I have to say a big thank you to Katawiki for uh, uh, sponsoring this trip. 
Um, even though it was kind of business, there was more than enough time for pleasure and this is one of those moments. And I hope you enjoy it as well and I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, see you.